good with y'all. It's Money Bound Him, back with another edition. Nah. It's good with y'all. Money Bound Him, back with another installment on. God man. It's good with y'all. Money Bound Him. You know, we're back with another video today. Uh, just wanted to do a quick one. Um, you know, kids' shoes, sometimes they come in extended sizes. Um, I got a few of them. Um, you know, I just thought I'd share that with y'all real quick. Do some quick reviews, what have you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let y'all see what I'm rocking with. Alright, so if you didn't know, some of the kids' shoes actually come in extended sizes. What that means is instead of stopping at a size 7 or 7 7.5, they actually go up to roughly a size 10, I believe, in most, in most cases. Um, I don't know if it's if it goes up to 11 or 12 when they do extended sizes. Um, you know, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Just leave a comment. Um, but yeah, you know, I pick them up sometimes whenever whenever I see a colorway I like and it's a low price. You know, I'm not going to just bust retail for you know for a kid's shoe. But if it's a if it's a nice colorway that I like, I will grab it. One thing I'm I'm always say. Well, what you like? I know everybody say that. Uh, it may be cliche, so to speak, but it's 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 a true statement. Well, what you like? Buy what you like, because you're gonna be the one that got to wear it anyway. Now, pretty much all the kid Jordans come in a uh, standard Jordan box. This one right here, black Jordan box, gold jump man on it. Nothing really special, I guess. It now, if you saw my last video. This shoe ain't nothing new to you. I encourage y'all to go back and check out my last video, uh, give you a little bit more detail on it. Uh, but these are the Jordan 1 um, metallic black and gold. Uh, this shoe right here just has a black upper, gold swoosh on it, gum bottom. I mean, white midsole, you know, gold jump, gold uh, wings logo on the back, all patent leather. I mean, it's a Jordan 1 low. Nothing really much more to say about that. To me, it's a dope shoe. I can't afford the uh, the high version of it, so got these right here. I haven't rocked just yet. Um, this is a Jordan 5. Uh, I think they call them the Wolf Gray or whatever. Um, I mean, it's a different type of texture on here. I mean, if, if y'all want me to do a review, I could do an in-depth review on it, but it's pretty much that all Wolf Gray color, black mid, so, you know, shark teeth on it. Um, you know, got some speckling on the mid, so, uh, you know, translucent bottom, jump man, you know. It's a Jordan 5, black tongue, nothing, nothing, nothing really too special, but, um, I mean, it was a dope pickup. I think when I got these, well, nah, I'll say that for another time. Next shoe, uh, it's another Jordan 5. I guess you would call this the Raptor colorway. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna save all these stories that I got about these shoes for, for different videos. But you know, I got a little story about these. Y'all wouldn't believe the price I paid on these. Um, I mean, it's it's, it's nothing, nothing too spectacular about these either. I mean, it's a kid's shoe, but I decided to grab it. I had rocked these a few times, you know. I get compliments on them when people see them, but you know, man, like I said, I, I, I'll give y'all story time on these shoes later on. Now, the last kid shoe that I have that came in extended sizes is probably my favorite one. Uh, it's the Jordan 3. I call it the Jacksonville Jaguar colorway. It got that teal green on it. Got the gold on it, too. Gold on the jump man. Gold on the eyelets. Gold on the jump man on the back. You know, um, overall, to me, this is a really, really dope shoe. They still kept the, uh, the elephant print on that one, too. So... I mean, to me, this is a really, really dope shoe. Uh, I actually did, well, like I, I keep saying, I'm gonna say these stories, but I grabbed this off Stock X for a really, really good price. Um, yeah, man, I mean, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with grabbing grabbing kids shoes, you know, especially when they come in them extended sizes. Don't don't hurt your foot or whatever, trying to, uh, trying to get a kid shoe because it look good. Even though I will tell you that if you pull out the insole of your shoe, you get about a half a size back. So, you know what I'm saying? Just a little tidbit for people that didn't know that. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to bring y'all another video and show y'all all the shoes that I have in my collection that are actually kids shoes that didn't drop in. Um, as a men's release, I'm not gonna stop buying kids shoes. I'm gonna buy them if I like them. 
and you should too, because you're the one that's gonna have to wear these shoes anyway. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I'm gonna work on doing these videos because I pretty much have a story behind all of my shoes individually. So I'm gonna start working on, on some of those videos and getting those out to y'all. Um, if you subscribe to the channel already, thank you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit a like, uh, hit a dislike. I saw I got one dislike on the last video, so thank you for that too. You know, any interaction is welcome. Just don't be disrespectful. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. Y'all will see it say to like, comment, subscribe again at the end. So go ahead and do that. Appreciate you tuning in. I get with y'all next time. All I can say is SMH, nigga, stay in your place. These streets is wicked. It's gonna take more than standing in line for J's for you to kick it. Got sneaker plugs, set for locker, fuck they raffle tickets.